Is James Harden having the best scoring season in NBA history? Well, after reeling off 21 consecutive 30-point games and still counting, it's a worthy question to tackle. Let's go back to Wilt Chamberlain in 1962. He laid down the scoring gauntlet, shattering the previous best scoring rate in his legendary 50-point-per-game season. Because Wilt played 48 minutes per game, and because there were so many possessions back then, Chamberlain's per-possession scoring rate was actually far more in line with the top stars of today. Most all-stars in the three-point era play about 75 possessions per game, and if we use that to compare across eras, Wilt clocked in at just under 29 points per 75 way back in 1962. That scoring rate wouldn't be bested for another 18 years until George Iceman Gervin came along and hit 29 in 1980, and then he became the first man to top 30 in 1982, posting a whopping scoring rate of 31 points per 75. Then in 1987, a young Michael Jordan set a record that still stands today, posting a ridiculous scoring rate of 34.8 points per 75 possessions. It's been seriously challenged only once over the years, back in 2006, when Kobe Bryant posted the second best mark to date at 34.2. Heck, heading into this year, there have only been 28 seasons in league history with a scoring rate above 30. Four players have done it twice, and Michael Jordan did it an incredible nine times. Nine times? Nine times. Harden crossed the 30 plateau last year when he averaged 31.7 per 75, and he was efficient too, with true shooting that was 6% better than league average. He's the poster child for the analytics revolution, and for good reason, he scores almost exclusively at the rim, behind the three-point stripe, or from the foul line. His controversial exploitation of the rules has befuddled most defenders, who live in a constant state of panic that they'll foul him, yet seemingly always end up fouling him. Most critically, he's Jedi mind-tricked opponents into trying not to block his three, which has suddenly allowed him to use it like an old-school mid-range jumper, step-backing opponents into oblivion. He's taking more three-pointers than twos and generating efficient attempts at will. Only one player has ever taken more than 800 triples in a season, and Harden's on pace for over 1,000. That's more threes than any single team took in the first nine years of the three-point line. And that's really where the math comes into play. Harden's 37% three-point shooting is the equivalent of a 56% two-point shot, which is peak Shaquille O'Neal territory, only you can't hack a Harden. He's an 86% free-throw shooter. Actually, if you add in Harden's free-throws on his three-point attempts, he becomes the equivalent of a 67% two-point shooter on those shots. So where does his current run stack up in the annals of history? Well, these points represent the top scoring seasons since the shot clock, with the highest scoring rates to the right and the most efficient seasons at the top. The gold standard from this viewpoint is Stephen Curry's 2016 season, which led the league in scoring rate and efficiency with an overall true shooting percentage of 67%, that same number the beard generates on his threes. As you can see, Harden's current season is first all-time in volume, but a considerable ways behind Curry's record-setting efficiency. That begs the question, which is better? More scoring or more accuracy? Last year, I created a scoring value metric that tries to help us answer these questions with an objective comparison across time. The algorithm looks at volume, efficiency, and how much a player had around him to estimate the overall value of his scoring. According to this metric, Harden posted a top 50 season last year, and despite currently setting a new mark in scoring volume, his 2019 season is still in a pack right below Steph Curry's 2016 outlier. Of course, there are philosophical differences to consider too. Do you value an isolation score more than an off-ball video game? Do you want a player who raises the floor of an offense or one who pushes the ceiling to unthinkable heights? I'm partial to Curry here, but over these last 21 games, Harden's numbers would be the greatest season ever per this metric. In that time span, he's posting a scoring rate of 40.8, 
the most prolific stretch in modern NBA history, and his efficiency is slightly up during that time, about 7% better than the league. Houston's offense is cooking too, posting a rating just under 120, with Harden on the court during that run. Still, the concerns with Harden have always been how much of his scoring translates into the playoffs, and the jury's still out on this latest version. Although his postseason numbers haven't dropped that much, many of the greatest scorers ever improve in the second season, most notably Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Overall, your mileage may vary, but for me, a player's value is about how much they help in the crucible of the postseason, and how resilient they are to strong defenses, game planning against them in a seven-game series. Harden has yet to demonstrate that this latest uptick is more than just a regular season blip, and because of that, I can't reasonably argue that he's having the best scoring season ever. But if he were to play like this in the playoffs, unparalleled volume on the same efficiency with a white-hot offense, James Harden's 2019 may go down as the best scoring season of all time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and are interested more about scoring value metrics or the top scoring seasons of all time, I did a two-part podcast series on it. It's episode number one and number two of the Thinking Basketball podcast. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, if you want more Harden, The Dime Drop, one of my favorite channels, did a piece on him a couple weeks ago. It's called James Harden is Controlling the Ghosts. I'll put a link in the description box as well. Otherwise, hope you guys are having a great day.